In step four of exercise number six, the following actions have to be implemented to complete the machining of the through hole. An eye rough and eye finish operation must be defined. During this step, the material boundary feature is used to define the machining geometry for the through hole. First, you have to define the rough machining of the through hole. Add a new eye machining operation. In the solid cam manager, right click operations, add milling operation, and select 2D eye machining. The eye machining operation dialog box is displayed and the default eye rough is used for technology. On the geometry page, click the new button to start the geometry definition. Because the through hole is slightly larger than the pre-cut area, a material boundary can be used to define the entry geometry. In the SOLIDWORKS graphics area, pick on the top edge of the through hole contour as shown, and then click yes to accept the chain selection. Click OK to confirm the chain selection and exit the geometry edit dialog box. In the material boundary area on the geometry page, set the radio button to define offset. For the purpose of this exercise, there is only two millimeters of stock to remove. Therefore, enter a value of two in the define offset input field text box. In this case, the iMachining technology uses the offset value to automatically build a secondary chain inside the chain chosen at geometry selection. Click the preview button to verify the auto built chain is correct. For this example, the auto built chain is used for entry. The geometry is defined. Click Cancel to exit the Show Geometry dialog box. Switch to the tool page and click the Select button. In the Part Tool table, select Tool Number 2, the 12.5 mm end mill. Click the Select button to choose the tool for the operation and exit the Part Tool table. Switch to the Levels page to define the milling levels. Click the Upper Level button. In the SOLIDWORKS graphics area, select the top face of the stock model as shown, and then click OK to confirm the selection. Next, click the Pocket Depth button and select the bottom face of the target model as shown. Click OK to confirm the selection. To perform machining deeper than the part bottom edge, enter a delta depth value of negative 0.76 millimeters. On the Technology Wizard page, the default cutting conditions are used with a machining level aggressiveness of 6. On the Technology page, the step down and cutting angles generated by the wizard are shown. By default, a 0.24 mm allowance will be left on the walls. At this point, the operation can be calculated and the iMachining toolpath can be viewed on the model. Name the operation iRough through hole, click save and calculate, and then click simulate. Click the play button to view the iMachining toolpath at work. The tool feeds down inside the entry geometry and performs the rough machining of the through hole, only working in the area defined by the material boundary. Close the simulation control panel with the exit button to display the iMachining operation dialog box. To perform the finish machining of the through hole, you have to define an eye finish operation. Click the Save and Copy button to create a copy of the current eye machining operation. When the copied eye machining operation dialog box opens, click the drop down menu under Technology and change the operation type to Eye Finish. The copied machining geometry, 12.5 mm tool and milling levels from the previous eye rough operation are used for this eye finish operation. On the Technology Wizard page, the default cutting conditions are used with a machining level aggressiveness of 6. On the Technology page, the wall island offset is now set to 0 by default. At this point, the operation can be calculated and the eye machining toolpath can be viewed on the model. Name the operation Eye Finish Through Hole. Click Save and Calculate, and then click Simulate. Click the Play button to view the eye machining toolpath at work. 
The tool feeds down and performs finishing of the through hole by removing the .24mm offset from the wall. Using the exit buttons, close the simulation control panel and the iMachining Operation dialog box. At this stage, step 4 is complete and a material boundary was used to define the machining geometry for the through hole. If you have not followed along, apply and practice the procedure shown in this video to define the rough and finish machining of the through hole.